All right, so my bed on my Ender 3 S1 is so warped and all jacked up. So I am changing out the bed itself. The heat bed. <coughs> and I forget what you call this, X plate or I forget. But um, <coughs> I got it from uh, Gulf Coast Robotics. So I will let you guys know how it is. Please like, subscribe, comment. We will uh, show you the uh, stock one as it is uh, in there. And it's, I mean, horrible. And as so is the, uh, the plate. So, all right, we will be back. And there's the difference. Stay tuned. I had to make a bracket because they sent me the wrong uh, carriage. So I just made a, a bracket and uh, just put it on top. I gotta worry about that bending. So, all right. All right guys, so I got sick of, uh, this was warping on my S1. So I designed a plate. It ain't the prettiest in the world. But I could tell you what, it's not bent no more. I mean, straight as an arrow. Um, this was my whole problem with my S1. This, um, yeah, so in the back left corner, this was getting bowed. Um, so with that being said, I just made a, uh, a little, uh, I uh, got, got a little piece of metal and um, made a jig and now we're almost done. Stay tuned, we will be back. All right, so here is the uh, getting the warp out of the Ender 3S1. It won't warp now, I can guarantee you that. So this is finished. You gotta just cut, it, Matt, cut out all the holes, trace it out. I made it a little stronger, um, but uh, yeah, that's it when it's done. Um, then I had to tap the uh, bolt that comes through to hit the uh, stop. But, all right guys, stay tuned though. Let you guys know how it is. I can guarantee you it won't be warped. And now, here it is. All done. There's the carriage. And it ain't bent no more. And I got the white steel braided wing lock 